for me personally, if I, you know, ever had a son or, or a young young guy who I was talking to about footy, I'd just say, you, you do, you've got to look after yourself. I grew up in the area around Belmore, grew up watching the Bulldogs. I sort of started playing when I was probably about 13 and it felt like home and I've never been anywhere else that's felt like the Bulldogs. I wanted to stay at that club for my whole life but then sort of at that time um, the Dogs were looking for probably a bit of change of direction. We had some success but we didn't, you know, we didn't win it and that's what, you know, a big club like that wants. I think the sooner you come to terms with, I know this sounds bad, but you are just, you're another number, the, the easier it is. You know, that's where I struggled because I was like, how could this happen with the loyalty side of things? I had to put my big boy pants on and, you know, have a, have a look elsewhere. When I did leave to the Tigers, it, it wasn't great because yeah, I couldn't get on the field, I was fairly injured and it just didn't work out. To be honest, I, was having, I had a fair bit of off-field stuff going on, personally, and that didn't help. That contributes a lot. For me personally, when my off-field life isn't good, my footy's always been a bit off, and I've always been like that growing up, so that wasn't good. Eventually, Brett Hodgson from the Tigers, he signed with an English club over in England and he asked me to go and yeah, after a bit of thought, I was very keen because I, I think I needed a bit of a fresh start out of the Sydney limelight, to be honest. It was a weird period, so as soon as I got over there, England went straight into lockdown the first day I got in there. At that time, I went over there by myself, and that was hard, I'm not gonna lie, that was really hard. No, I didn't want to be there for the last year of my deal, and they were, they were very okay with that, <laughs> without saying it nicely. And I was pretty much gonna retire. But I don't know, for some reason, I just, there was something in me that just felt I couldn't finish it. Every day I'd, I'd sleep, sit on it, sleep on it. And then I sort of realised, look, I don't really want to go back to the NRL anywhere but the Bulldogs. I remember when I got back, I set up the meeting with Gus and I could tell he was like, mate, you sure you want to do this? <laughs> I want to see where I'm at right now and um, what I'm doing in the club, what role I'm having. I, I wouldn't change it for the world other than my immediate family. They are, they are my family. I can honestly say people at that club, I could tell things, you know, some, some of my wildest secrets and and, be, and, and feel safe, you know, that, that they've got my back and, and that's all you want in life, isn't it? <laughs>